Okay, so we're going to solve the following system of two linear equations and two variables using gauss jordan row elimination. And it turns out that this particular system has infinitely many solutions. So let's see how that works out. To start this, first we make an augmented matrix of the system or an initial matrix as follows. We have 2, negative 4, 6, negative 1, 2, negative 3. Now we want to get a 1 in the top left. To get a 1 here, I have to multiply the whole first row by 1 half. So we're doing 1 half times row 1 to get a new row 1. So our new matrix is as follows. Since only row 1 is changing, row 2 stays the same. And row 1 is half of 2 is 1, half of negative 4 is negative 2, half of 6 is 3. So now I have a 1 in the top left. The goal is to get a 0 below it. So I multiply the first row by 1, add it to row 2, and that will get a 0 here. So we're talking about 1 times row 1, add it to row 2 to get a new row 2. So again, since matrix, since the only row 2 is changing, row 1 stays the same. 1 times 1 added to negative 1 is 0. 1 times negative 2 added to positive 2 is 0. 1 times 3 added to negative 3 is 0. So now we have to get a 1 here uh, as the process of Gauss-Jordan row elimination. But there's nothing I can multiply this row with to get a, a 1 here. So now we know we're done. So now we translate back into equations. And the system is as follows. We have x minus 2y equals 3. And this line is just 0x plus 0y equals 0. So we don't need to write that. So right now we see here that there's infinitely many solutions depending on what I choose for x, for instance. That'll determine y, or what I choose for y, that'll determine x. So let's use x as the dependent variable, uh, independent variable. Um, sorry, let's use x as the independent variable, and y will depend on x. So let's solve for y. So we have x minus 2y equals 3. I subtract x from both sides. So I have negative 2y equals negative x plus 3. And then I can multiply by negative 1 half on both sides. So negative 1 half times 2y and negative 1 half times negative x plus 3. So I have negative 2y here. I have negative x plus 3. So negative half times negative 2 is just positive 1. So we have a y here. Negative half times negative x is 1 half x. Negative half times 3 is negative 3 halves. So now are infinitely many solutions. I can say let x equal x and let y equal 1 half x minus 3 halves. And those are our two solutions for y and for x. All right.